hi friends GT coding here in this tutorial you're gonna learn about preprocessors so when you compile a program in C there are four steps there are four tasks that get executed which are preprocessing then compilation then assembly and linking so these four tasks get completed when you compile a C program so we are not going to talk about all these things we just focus we will just focus on preprocessing so to write a preprocessor in C or C++ you have to start it with the symbol hash you may have seen in all our C programs where we start our program by writing hash include and some file here if you write hash include and write the name of a header file over here what it does is as the name suggests it includes the header file stdio.h into your source file so you can directly use the functions defined in this stdio header file we can also include our own header files in our C program we will go to solution explorer right click on header files and add a new item now, now we will select header file and name our header file we will name it display dot h and now we will write our function here we will write hash include stdio dot h and we will write our function named display which will does the work of printing out hello on the screen now we can directly use our header file in our main function we have to write hash include and type display.h now if we write display in our main function we can see that our program outputs hello so this is how you use the the hash include preprocessor in C the next preprocessor that we are going to talk about is hash define so hash define is a preprocessor which can be used for macro substitution for example if you want to create a constant in your program that does not change throughout the runtime of the program then you can declare it over here for example we will define max to 40 and we will write a program int a and we will scan a number from the user and if the number is greater than max then we can print out your number is greater than max or else print out your number is lesser than or equal to max so what happens is here if we provide a number that is greater than 40 it will display your number is greater and if we provide a number less than max then it will print out your number is lesser than or equal to max so this is not a very impressive program and to use hash define we can also use define to do some other interesting stuff like we can use it to do some operations as well for example if you want to find out the maximum number from two numbers we can write something like max and a b in parenthesis and now we can now we can write if a is greater than b then we should get a back or else we should get b so this gives us the maximum number we will enclose all these variables in a parenthesis because sometimes it 
creates problems when we provide some inputs. So now uh, we can check this code over here. We will assign A to 43 and B to 66. Now we will print max is now we will write max a b now this will give us the maximum of both these values let's check this out so max is 66 now we can also use define to do some other interesting stuff for example if we use for loop a lot in our program we want to write a shortcut for our for loop we can write this simple code we will define a name loop and in parenthesis we will provide a variable name now we will write for i is equal to 0 i is less than x and i plus plus now whenever you want to write this for loop you can just write loop x so we will write this line of code loop 5 so this will execute 5 times we have not defined the, the integer i so we will define int i now loop 5 that we will write print f and hello now if we run this program we can see that hello is printed five times these are some of the interesting things that you can do with the defined preprocessor now one of the other preprocessors is if def if def so it basically is used to check whether a, a preprocessor is defined or not for example if def loop x means if loop x is defined then we will undefine it so to undefine a preprocessor we use the preprocessor undef so we will undefine loop x and we have to end if with an end if preprocessor so here if we try to run this program we can see that we get an error we can see that loop is undefined because we have defined it here but after that here we have checked that if this loop x is defined and if so we have undefined the loop and so here we cannot write this function so this is how we use if def undef and end if now if we delete these things we can again run the program and we will get the output now there are some predefined macros in c and c++ we will just print some of them out so if you want to write if you want to print out today's date we can write date percentage s because it is a string and we can just write date in between two underscores on both sides so now if you will print this uh, if you will run this program we get today's date we can also print out some other stuff like time printf file that is the current file that we are using so these are some of the macros predefined in C so we can see we have got the date the time and the name of the file so these are all the commonly used preprocessors in C so if you know about preprocessors uh, you can write some interesting programs in C so I hope you have understood this tutorial so thank you for watching if you like this video click on the like button and if you have any doubts comment and I will try to answer it as soon as possible thank you for watching